This is task 2AI, which is part of uh, creating the spreadsheet. And for this one, you've got to create a worksheet called charges. Now you're told to open the file charges.xls, which is this file here that I've opened. And that this has a summary of the additional charges that are applied. So for example, we can see that the registration fee is £55, dual controls £250, CCTV £350. Well, the first thing to need to do is to rename this sheet charges. So if we double click where it says sheet one, down here at the bottom and write in charges, press enter, that's renamed. So you're asked to add any missing data, format the numerical data appropriately, and ensure that the VED, the vehicle excise duty table, is going to be suitable as a lookup table. And then you've got to print it with row and column headings. So first of all, we need to fill in this missing data. So if we go back to our original question, we can see here, okay, that the rate for insurance, okay, depends on the type of car. So if it's a manual transmission, it's 15%. So if we type in 15% there, for automatic, it's 12%. Now I'm just going to show you what's wrong with typing in 12 and then formatting it as a percentage. Can you see what happens? Okay, it turns it into 1200, right? What we really want that to be is 12%. And that now is actually stored as a, a number of 0.12. Our insurance premium tax, we can see here is 5%. So we'll put in 5% there. And our CCTV discount, if we have a look, if CCTV is fitted, a 25% discount is applied. Okay, so all of these here are currency, so we'll set those to be currency. And the same here, these are all currency values, so we'll set them to be currency values. I suppose we don't need the decimals, but it could change in the future. If we were using much larger numbers, say thousands of pounds, it's almost definite we wouldn't need the, the decimals, but in this case, we'll leave it. Now, the next thing that uh, we need to consider is what is going to happen uh, to these figures here when we look it up, because we're going to need to use this as a lookup table We'll be entering somewhere into our spreadsheet the value of the excise duty, for example, 125 grams per kilogram. Now, if we do that, the spreadsheet isn't going to be able to say, oh, well, look, it fits in this here, because this is actually a set of letters. One, well, not letters, but characters. One, two, one, hyphen, one, three, zero. So it doesn't understand that as numbers. What we need to do is we need to put in the bottom of each of these bands and then if so if we just do a couple of these to start off with and what will happen is the spreadsheet will be able to go through here and it will say right i'm looking for one two five zero it's bigger than zero so let's look at the next one 101 it's bigger than that let's look at the next one 111 it's bigger than that let's look at the next one 121 it's bigger than that let's look at the next one 131 it's not bigger than that so it means it's in this band here and that's how the lookup table will work what we can do next then is change the other values so we've got 141 151 then notice the next one jumps to 166 and 176, 186, and then another jump to 201, another jump to 226, and then anything over 255. So let's do another one. Uh, it's searching for 152 grams per kilogram. So it goes through the table. Okay, It's bigger than all of these. And then eventually it will find that it's not bigger than 166, and so it uses the last row that it found. And what will happen, it will then return this value here, £175. And so that will be the cost of the vehicle excise duty. So we've created our charges worksheet. And now what we need to do is print it. But it asks us to print it with row and column headings on one sheet of A4. So to do your row and column headings, we go to page layout 
and we select print titles. Under print titles you can see here row and column headings. We click on OK and now we can do a file print. Right, we have a look at this. That looks absolutely fine. Okay, make sure it's fitting on one page. It is. If it doesn't, we can change our scale to fit or we could change it so that it's landscape or so that it's portrait. Okay, and this is the important bit here, the row headings and the column headings. And then all we need to do is print.